Okay, today uh, we are going to build a post for these machines. And this is a machine model. By the way, if you don't know how to uh, create the machines, uh, you can uh, go through the first video of the Haas machines. Okay, the first video. I'll show you uh, how to build a machine simulator from zero. And um, okay, now let's look at these machines. Um, this will be the home positions for the machine. Right. So we have uh, X, uh, Z, Z on X, X on base, B on uh, Z. Right. So the limits for X, Z, and also for B. So for this machine is at uh, 45 degree angle. Uh, this is Y and this is C. Okay. Now let's go. Make sure you have this files ready. Right, so I will unzip the DIY post, the template post, all here, and I'll change to use this name. You can you can change the name if you want, but make sure all the files must have the same name. you have the post and then uh, make sure you copy into the post post directory this is a uh, locations so just copy and paste now it's here and then uh, you need to edit the MCFG and the PGF uh, I will use the uh, notepad plus plus to edit. Right. So beside this, you need to copy these machines. Uh, you can try to build your own if you want. So, but I, I've attached these files uh, in the G file, so you can get this one. Make sure you copy this folder to the machine folder. This folder. Alright, copy to this folder and I already done that. Uh, here, this is my file. Okay, so now let's go to Notepad Plus Plus and um, look at the MCFG file. Alternate zero to collapse everything. Uh, we'll look at the startup. And again, uh, this machine is. Uh, let me capture this name here. Copy. And here. This is the name. And don't change this one. Uh, kinematic. Uh, no. This is a head table machine, so you need to change the tree. Head table machines or table head machines. Uh, save move option, yes. Move Z and then X, Y, 2 is okay. And uh, table head, uh, this one, TCV move. Whether the TCP can start moving by uh, X, Y, then Z or XYZ right because this machine we plan to use a, a Siemens controller okay so 
in that case we have to use the uh, number one for Fana or Siemens control you need to use one yeah this is for table head machine only and head head machine two is for if you have a high turn high turn control yeah uh, so I'll change to one in this case okay, so I'm going to use the uh, Siemens and this one zero is not necessary to start uh, before starting TCP to move the BC to zero yeah so the setting is zero okay now uh, let's look at the machine kinematic mm, again this is uh, ZX1 no changing for the two axes is the same okay so define the rotary direction by vector yes no uh, in this case I will choose yes 45 degree if I want to change to zero it, I, it is possible because uh, the if I use zero then uh, I need to put this one so the rotary is um, y plus z, z plus right it puts zero if you look at the tilting axis right so it is at a y plus plus direction and z plus direction 45 angle i can also uh, set by vector if i want um, if I want to set by vector, this is what I want to do. Change this one to one, and then uh, my vector will be here. This one is zero, and this here, and this is same. Yeah. Uh, a vector normal to tilt rotor axis and the Z so it will be this direction so if we if we looking from the top uh, this is vector so normal to this the traces and the z direction will be will be this direction right so that will be the x plus directions so this will be one and zero And yeah, the character is B, capital, uppercase. And the limit for the B is uh, minus 30 to 180. So the mini limit is the minimum is minus 30 to 180. 180 right so this one will put I will set 0 instead of minus 30 to force uh, the default to work on the positive side so this uh, choose positive side number 2 right for this one yes 0 because this is a continuous axis um the pivot point the pivot point what is the value let's check the b uh, the value is uh, minus uh, 100 right so what do you mean by minus 100 okay 
So this is a lottery access. Let me draw. This is a lottery access, right? And this is a Z axis. The spin the face reference point is here, right? And this is a Z axis. Right. So the distance from the spinner face to this position is minus one zero zero. Okay. And uh, the x x there's no difference. Okay, it's x is at the center. You can check with that, all right? And this is at the center. At the center. So it will be minus Z minus 100. It will be Z minus 100. Right, this is the pivot point. Um, for the a lot three axis for the C minus one correct yeah, it's a continuous simple uh, yeah minus one mm, no changes uh, that's uh, I think I need to change here yeah the two lot three axis projected to the taper face so it will it will not be this one this is zero it will be y plus what do you mean by this let's go to the top so this is b right So the axis is if it projected to the table will be it will have the y plus uh, so uh, yeah y plus direction okay so I'll set this one to y plus. Uh, and this is C uppercase and the rest is uh, no change now let's set the machine limit right so let's check the X limit the x axis limit um, 625 625 so maximum is 625 625 how about the y the y limit is minus 300, 700. Refer to ta uh, table top center. Minus 300.
I'm 700. 700. 700. And the Zek, the Zek axis is uh, triple one five. I'm on one five. Uh, triple one five. Uh, minimum will be one one five. One one five. Right, the home position will be the uh, 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 X minimum, yes. Uh, this position here, this is home, and so this will be the X minimum side and a Y maximum and Z maximum. Y maximum, Z maximum, BC plus zero. Uh, that's the limit and of course uh, for the superposition the superposition of the table center table top center the machine position you need to get it from the machines uh, let's assume the value now for the Z is minus one 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 five and for the uh, y is minus three hundred uh, seven hundred so and just the x will be plus six two five okay so after I key in the value after I key in the value this value here to go to the home position for for the x super x will be zero right and y will be zero uh, slash slash is a comment and just get, uh, write down what happened if uh, the g code to move uh, the two to this position here is x y z zero right so that will, uh, let's save the file. That is the end CFG. Okay, uh, we are done end CFG. How about the PGA file, the program format? Mm, yeah, this is harsh. We cannot use this one. So uh, let's go to zip file, the template for zip file. Uh, you can choose from here mm, a Siemens, yeah, a Siemens template. I will open the cement template with the template plus plus control A and copy make a copy and then uh, go to this control A delete everything and then paste the cement code here right um, I think uh, not much we need to change here um, let's alternate zero. Uh, startup, no, uh, no need. Mm, program format, uh, I don't think we need to change anything there. Uh, Yeah, five axis setting. Okay, let's look at this one. Uh, no, no need to change this one. Yeah, the clamp and clamp code. Make sure you get the correct uh, M code and change the value here. Mm, T 
tube plane yeah, for Siemens. This is tube plane. Uh, number three, load plane uh, with tendon. With tendon. One load plane with tandem shift. Without, hmm, I think I have done mistake here. This one should be two. Should be two, right? Cycle eight hundred. Uh, always two. Uh, there is a tandem shift for the two. This is a cycle related code, so I'm using 39. If you don't know, just leave it. Uh, this is for hydrogen only, use only. And yep, the rest is good. TCP. Mm. Yes, we are using TCP. Uh, TCP for Siemens is Traoli. Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, just in case you want to change some coolant. Uh, coolant is here. Uh, common M code here. You can change the coolant code just in case you need. Yep, that's it. Okay, now we have done uh, uh, configure the pulse next to simulate. So I'm gonna simulate this found here. Test box, yeah, okay, already open. And let's change the setup. Mm. Uh, now the machine is to fly X table head EMC one to fly here. Uh, Three hundred should be good idea. Mm -hmm. Now the post processors will be. This one, uh, no, DMC125. This one, then okay. Mm, the, you can show the machines, look at the machine if you want. The table, mm, then okay. Then we can simulate to see any problem or not. Right. Let's simulate. This looks good. Stunning. Come down. You can change the connection if you don't like the 
the Tui Jamada. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. And this will be a TCP move. Yep, everything is good. And this is the code. I forgot to mention something about the pulse. About the pulse from pulse parameter, okay. So before you uh, touch on this video, make sure you complete the has has the video number number two number three number four this is a basic the hard machine yeah if you done this then you understand how to uh, change the post parameters right uh, so if you if you if you selected this one plug for this mode you need to have your demo plug simulator demo plug or your customer plug to register into this uh, template post in order to use it all right uh, without this one you see you can use the post uh, either by machine simulation mode only only for machine simulation mode or a demo under, under demo mode only maximum 888 lines of code allowed okay good luck